Hello Thrifty Music Collectors and those of you watching this video on YouTube. I'm Tim and this is another episode of uh, Tim's Thrifty Music. Uh, as you'll see in my videos, I, I like a lot of uh, folk artists and uh, singer-songwriters. And uh, my artist, my uh, the artist I'm featuring in this video is uh, a Canadian folk artist. Uh, that one that I have uh, several art, uh, albums by. If you haven't figured out who it is yet, that uh, artist is Garden Lightfoot. And uh, to get started, I'm starting off with this this album from uh, 1968. That album is uh, titled Lightfoot. Is that uh, back here on Earth? Uh, this album has uh, signs like uh, uh, "Bitter Green," the, the circle of small, the fair on Eighth Avenue. Uh, it's a, it's a pretty decent album of his. It's on United Artists from. Uh, 1968 was recorded in September of 68. Next up from 1969, also on United Artists. Sorry about the lighting, I'm try, just trying to get it better so you can see them better. Uh, it's uh, a live, it's a uh, Sunday concert. It was recorded live. Uh, that this one has like uh, uh, a medley of I'm Not Saying and uh, Ribbon of Darkness and Bitter Green and the Canadian Railroad Trilogy on here. It's a gatefold. Like I said, it's from 69 and John United Dars like it has uh, several photos uh, in the gatefold. Next up is the one where he had his first hit on it. Uh, this one, the copy I have is uh, called, titled, If You Could Read My Mind. It was, uh, the first pressing was uh, titled, uh, uh, Sit Down Young Stranger, but uh, after If You Could Read My Mind uh, be, uh, became a hit, they, uh, as soon as it became a hit, they, uh, they uh, re uh, renamed the, album uh, if you could read my mind and uh, because uh, they figured that way the album would have uh, they could sell a lot more copies of the album because of the hit on it but I guess it has if you could read my mind on it and then they he also does a cover of me and Bobby Mickey on it it also I like uh, minstrel of the dawn on there and and uh, approaching lavender, and I also like uh, the song "Sit Down, Young Stranger" on here. I, I just really enjoyed the, uh, this album, and it's from 1970 on about uh, reprise. Next up is uh, "Sundown." Uh, it's on also on reprise. It's from. Uh, 1974, of course it has a hit Sundown on it, it also has Carefree Highway and, uh, and Circle of Steel and uh, it's, uh, it's a good album throughout also. I'll bring it up closer so you can see it better. It's like I said, it's on reprise also. Then from 75 on reprise, Cold on the Shoulder. I, I really like the uh, title track, Cold on the Shoulder, off this one. Also has Rainy Day People on it. And, and I, I like this, I really like this album also. It's up on reprise from 75. And uh, here's a two album comp 
a compilation from, from 75 called Scold. Uh, per, and uh, I really like this album. I, I'll put it down. I, it doesn't have a bad song on it at all. Of course, it has a lot of those I've mentioned so far in Finn, but, but the song Softly, it's the. Uh, it's the. Uh, 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 real good song and uh, Steel Railroad Blues, uh, Early Morning Rain, or Beautiful. It's a song that uh, has Jeff, uh, his uh, channel, a speaker, uh, used in uh, uh, kind of in uh, Robert C's uh, uh, th uh, thousand subscriber contest. Uh, it's a uh, re uh, real, uh, 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 real nice song. And then, like, he does Cotton Jenny on here, which was a hit for uh, Anne Murray. Like I said, this was from Op 75 on Reprise. Excellent. Up. Uh, this was the last one on reprise, if I remember right. This one was on reprise. Let me check to make sure. This is the last one I have of this on reprise. This is a summertime dream. It's from uh, 1976. It's summertime dream. This has a uh, hit uh, record. A record with uh, Edmund Fitzgerald. It also has uh, Race Among the Ruins, which is pretty good too. And also has like uh, the house you live in. And uh, I, I enjoy this album. Okay, this one's from uh, uh, 70s, 1978. It's on. Uh, Warner Brothers, uh, it's Endless Wire. It has like Daylight Katie and of course Endless Wire and Dreamland. Sometimes I don't mind that uh, it's a pretty good song and the circle is small. This one's from 1980 on uh, Warner Brothers. This is Dream Street Rose. This has a uh, sea of tranquility. Ghost of the uh, Cape Horn. Dream Street Rose. Whisper by name. Uh, and uh, uh, last one of his albums I have. It, it's also on Warner Brothers from uh, 1983. It's at Salute. It has uh, someone to believe in and uh, Body Pine without you, Broken Dreams. And well, that's uh, that's all I have for of uh, Gordon Lightfoot. I've, I've always liked his music and singing. He's written hits for other or songs that were hits for other artists along with hits of his own. So, until next time, take it easy and keep on rocking.